Today, August 4, marks the fourth day since the Onga protest has started. And since this protest started, a lot of Nigerians have been clamoring that the president should address its people. The president should address the protesters that have been on the road since August 4th. Tell them your plans. Let them know what you have in mind. Address these people. Youth have been dying since August 1st. Uh, police has been shooting at these youths who have been outside protesting. Tear gas have also been used against these people. Force have been used. Violence have been used against these people, which is why people have been saying, Tinubu, talk to your citizens. Talk to Nigerians. Let them know your plans. Let them know both your short-term plans and your long-term plans for the country. And finally... The presidents have answered the call of its people because earlier today, 7 a.m., he has addressed the nation. We are going to go into all of that in a bit. But before we do so, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Breaking news, Tinobo rolls out return of fuel subsidy, says decision painful, but necessary. Contrary to the demands of the ongoing and bad governance protesters, President Bola Tinobu has ruled out the return of fuel subsidy. The president in a nationwide broadcast to Nigerians on Sunday morning disclosed that even though the decision to remove the fuel subsidy was painful, it was necessary because it has constituted a noss around the economic juggler of our nation and impeded our economic development and progress. The president also told the protesters that law enforcement agencies would continue to ensure the full protection of lives and properties of innocent citizens in a responsible manner, adding that a democracy progresses when the constitutional rights of every Nigerian are respected and protect, protected. President Tinubu stated that my vision for our country is one of a just and prosperous nation where each person may enjoy the peace, freedom and meaningful livelihood that only democratic good governance can provide one that is open, transparent, and accountable to the Nigerian people. For decades, our economy has remained anemic and taken a dip because of many misalignments that have stunted our growth. Just over a year ago, our dear country, Nigeria, reached a point where we couldn't afford to continue the use of temporary solutions to solve long-term problems for the sake of now and our unborn generations. The idea for took the painful yet necessary decision to remove few subsidies and abolish multiple foreign exchange systems which had constituted a loss around the economic juggling of our nation and impeded our economic development and progress. He said these actions blocked the greed and the profit that smugglers and rent seekers made. They also blocked the undue subsidies he had extended to our neighboring countries to the detriment of our people, rendering our economy prostrate. These decisions I made were necessary if we must reverse the decades of economic mismanagement that didn't serve us well. Yes, I agree, the box stops on my table, but I can assure you that I am focused fully on delivering the governance to the people. Good governance, for that matter. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this address by the president to its people? Um, 
everybody seemed to continue talking about subsidies, uh, reduce the price of petrol. I don't think that one of the agendas of this protest, I don't think they added, you know, reducing management costs, you know, re re reducing the salaries of our senators, because I feel that this is one major way that the country keeps losing money. You now the president say, said that uh, subsidy cannot be returned because they have discovered that, you know, this is one of the loopholes in which, you know, people were just, you know, looting the government, even the neighboring countries that, that, that are not even part of Nigeria. They were benefiting from this subsidy. It's as if Nigeria was, wasn't only subsidizing petrol for its people, we're also subsidizing petrol for all of these are neighboring countries. But I also feel that, you know, it's high time that the government reduces its administrative costs. The now Sultan of Sokoto, once CBN gov governor, once said that even the administrative cost alone, the salaries that the senators and the um, House of Representatives member that they take every month is 25% of the total income. And I know it must have increased since then. 25% of the national income, of a country's income, is being taken by just people who are not even up to 700. They are not even up to one quarter of the total population of our own country. The money meant for a whole country is what is being taken by just not even a fraction, a section of people, a group of people are the ones taking this money. If you calculate how much these people are being paid monthly, you open your mouth because it's just too much. I believe that the, government, the, the president himself should start with setting an example. You know, reduce your own salary. You know that the salary is too much. It's not that you did not know. You know. So if you really want to do what is right by your people, you need to first of all start from there. Reduce the cost of governance, the, 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 the costs, the money that these senators take home is just too much. If we are not going to lie to ourselves, these senators collect newspaper allowance each month, stationery allowance each month, wardrobe allowance each month. Not only that, they also go home with you know several allowances furniture allowance as well each month and this begs another question that does does these senators pardon me do these senators do they buy furnitures every month within four years how can you be going home with furniture allowance each month so for a year you are going home with furniture allowance millions or like or, more than 200 million naira in a year for furniture allowance. Like, how does that make sense? Make it make, make sense. Some of all these senators ruling Nigeria as if Nigeria is, is their company. All of these senators, I'm very sure that if Nigeria were to be a company, they would never pay themselves such amount. They would never pay their employee such amount of money. But because most of us, we see, most of them, I'm not going to say most of us, they see Nigeria as a national cake. Chop your own, make I chop my own, make I clean mouth. That is just it. So I feel that, like, if a president wants to actually lead by example and, you know, send a message across to these protesters that I feel you, I feel your pain, first of all, start in house. Start in house. Just earlier this year, these senators decided to buy themselves bulletproof SUVs. All of them, and numerous times, Apabu had let it slip that they, 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 they take home money, you know, millions of naira. He will say that uh, if you check your email, you are going to see your alerts. Or the times that, you know, the, uh, the ministers were, 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 were to be approved by these senators, after the old sitting, he even he let it slip that they, they should be expecting money in their bank account. These are what Nigerians are saying should stop, not only subsidy alone. You all, like I said, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see you all in my next video.